social science has a lot of tools um, that different disciplines can use to measure or help understand how people are thinking about a topic. But the role of social science isn't really just to go and take at the temperature and, you know, capture responses to what scientists are doing. It's not like scientists are acting and then social science is responding. And that's because um, social science sees that science is a part of society. It's not a separate thing. And there's all these different social conditions that go into what science is producing. So that's part of what we're trying to understand. And political science, economics, anthropology, human geography, all of these have different ways of understanding the dynamics that are producing our ability to even ask these questions about engineering the climate. You have seen a few surveys come out in the past few years. Um, in, in Japan, there's one been done in the US and the UK and Canada where you're soliciting some opinions. But the major methodological challenge with all this is that a lot of people don't know about climate engineering right now. So how are you going to scientifically um, get their viewpoint on it when you're also the one telling them what it's about? It's a very difficult challenge. And if more people learn about this topic as it if it continues to become high profile, which isn't a given, but it might, um, then that might become easier. But then you also have the challenge of um, soliciting opinions or doing engagement in the developing world, which we really have no idea about public opinion about climate engineering in Brazil or India or other places that are super crucial to this debate. So the social sciences are very vast, and one of the ones I haven't mentioned is communication studies. Um, there are a number of scholars working to understand how climate engineering is represented in the media and how um, the media helps shape how, what we understand what climate engineering is. Most people, the first time they hear about it, it's probably going to be triggered by a newspaper article or their friend telling them about a newspaper article. And um, by that, I also mean, obviously, blogs and so forth um, on the internet. And, and that's giving you a certain picture. So there's scholars that have been working to understand the relationship between the production of media and how people think and feel about it. And so far, most of those have been looking just at the content of the media. And I think the next step for this is doing media reception studies in a structured environment to get deeper into how people are producing their understanding of climate engineering based on the media. 